Hello and welcome to Disney Makes Coloring. If you're new here, my name is Megan and I'm so excited to be here with you today. I recently received some happy mail from a new friend of mine that I have made here. Um, she is a subscriber and a friend over on Instagram. Her name is Susan, so thank you, Susan. I'm gonna thank you right now. I'll probably thank you again as we get, keep going. She sent me a small little package just because and I feel so blessed and yeah I don't have words so anyway I wanted to share with you what she sent me so first I'm going to show you I'm going to put these aside she happened to have two sets of these um they're called um I don't know if I'm going to say it wrong they're Arteza and they're twi markers or twee markers. So they're a brush marker. So they have brush tip on one end and then the fine point on the other end. Um, she sent me one and she sent it in this beautiful brown leather case that she had. And she has it labeled and everything for me. It was very, very exciting. And she even sent me a swatch chart to go with them. I think that is just so sweet. Thank you so much, Susan. So I took these out and I decided to try them out in one of my um, ABC, uh, my ABC, sorry, my Disney color by number books. Um, so here you're gonna see a completed page for this month, which is also a buddy color. So you'll be seeing it soon, um, of Mother Gothel. So I used the toy markers on this page and I like them. They work just as well as um, I'd say they're similar to the Oh Hoo Hoo's dual tip brush markers. Um, yeah, they're still streaky, but I haven't found a water-based marker that's not. Um, Tombos are the closest to non-streaky but I still think they did a great job like here. Oh, and then the skin, they don't have good skin tones. So I did use my um, Crayola's Around the World uh, markers for the skin. But I just wanted to see you how, show you how they perform. And yeah, I'm liking them. They're a good marker. The next thing that was in my box which I have never heard of or seen before. So this was exciting. I'm gonna zoom you in. These are Pentel Dual Metallic Brush Markers and they're in a different language. I've never seen these before ever. And um, I was thought I'd show them to you. So they are a brush. Now I have activated this one. Let me show you one that's not activated. So here is the orange. Um, they don't have color names on them or anything. They just say Pentel Dual Metallic Brush. And they look like this. And um, I don't think you shake them. This right here is a pump. So I'm gonna show you. So you just pump and you can see the ink coming down. And you just keep pumping and then until the ink comes down. And then I just started, you have to, there you go. Yeah. And they are absolutely beautiful. Very, very sparkly. I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, you can. So that's the orange. Here's the pink. The pink one is the one I did to just to try them out the other day. So yeah, they are absolutely beautiful. Let's see if you can see the shimmer. And I'm gonna set this aside and let them dry while I show you the other two things. But you get eight colors. Um, yeah, um, I'll have to, I didn't have a chance to swatch them out just yet. I'll need to do that. So maybe in my haul video at the end of the month, I will swatch them out so that I can show that to you. But these are the Pentel Dual Metallic 
brush pens. And again, Susan, thank you so, 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 so much. The next thing she sent is two wonderful coloring books. One I was, I've never heard of, and one of them um, is a new release. So excited. Um, I do like RJ Hampson, um, some of his books. I'm not a fan of his pirate one, but I love the Christmas one and the frog is in the Christmas one. So I was really excited to get this. So um, she, I'm going to start with this one. So this is A Frog's Tale, a Mr. Froggy coloring book by RJ Hampson. I'm just going to do a quick little flip through if that's okay. So here's the nameplate page. She's so cute. And here is um, find uh, using this book, find a quiet place away from distractions. Relax and immerse yourself in the process of coloring as you explore the details of each illustration. A little note from RJ Hampson and they are single-sided and each page is named so this one is rest and recreation he's fishing I like the the little worms here this one is orientation so here you have a map we've got morning tea so this snail must be his friend. So I'm seeing this snail in a lot of them. Let's see yet. There it is. So we've got Mr. Fogarty and then we're gonna have to name the snail. So in the comments below, um, if you'll put on there some good name choices for our friend the snail here. Cause you know me, I like to name everything. This is beautiful dawning. So you would do like a morning, like where the water is, it would be pretty with like a sunrise or sunset um, sky. A purpose in liqu liquidity, liquidity. Sorry, I said that wrong. Oh, a friend in need. He's helping the snail not get wet. These are just so cute. He does a great job with his illustrations. The Infernal Combustion Engine. His motorcycle. There's no snail on this page. Oh, look. The parlor wall. So here's um his pictures on his wall. That's funny to me. River Dreaming. No snail in this one either. Oh, the snail's back. Stoat's quality hats. He's buying a hat. Here's Mr. Stoat. Looks like a weasel maybe. Oh, and plain air. He's drawing, painting. This reminds me, let me know in the comments below if you agree, of Mr. Toad. Disney's Mr. Toad. Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. That's what it reminds me of. Escargot. <laughs> the Pub Lunch. Oh, that's funny. You see their feet down here. But no miss. Oh, there's his friend. It's hiding. Mr. Fogarty, Fro Fogarty falls asleep. He's sleeping on the boat. No snail on that one. Charmed. He's charming the snake. No snail on this one either. And there's a snail. Nemesis. Hmm, huh, interesting. Royal Residence. See, it's like Mr. Toad. Mr. Toad lived in a big fancy house. There's a snail he's hiding. Oh, Royal Audience. Oh, there's a king and queen frog. Then all their tadpoles over here. Oh, musical interlude. He placed the 
cello. Oh, there's little animals playing instruments. That's so cute. Look, the snail playing the tuba. I like that. A spot of inventing. So he invented a flying bicycle thingy. He's got his suitcase. But he forgot his friend, Mr. Snail. Flights of Fancy. He's riding a swan. I don't think the swan likes it very much. Doesn't look too happy. Oh, the tournament. Oh, he's riding the snail like a horse. That's funny. Oh, I'm sorry. I did not mean to shake the camera. Kicked it. Promenade. Oh, they're going to a party. An evening repose. <clears throat> There's his friend. Over here. He's got a little tadpoles too. Oh, night song. Playing the, the banjo. <laughs> That's funny. And then there's the second page. So you get two sets, which is awesome. Um, I don't mind having two sets. That way, if you make a mistake on one, you have another. Because um, I like to color in my books. I'm not one that um, takes pictures of um, copies and colors them. This next one I have never seen or heard of. So this was exciting to me. This one is Mysterious Planets by Icono. A-I-K-O-H-N-O. So I am so excited to have this book. Um, it's really good, thick paper. There's, it's a storybook. So here's the story over here. Um, it tells you this is the planet of forests. So I think it's like in chapters or in, in different sections. So this one is forest. So you've got all the different places. So look, we've got um, a volcano over here and a big tree. Here's the bird. I need to read the story. I haven't read the story yet. There's the king bear and the bunny rabbit. Here's lots of animals. Got some cats and dogs and armadillos and flying squirrels, bears. I don't really know what these are, meerkats or bunny rabbits. Here's the forest with all the animals. Very cute. It's a smooth paper though, so you know, it's very, very soft, very smooth. But they are double-sided, so no markers. I think this kind of paper is good with the polychromos. Don't quote me on that. I'll have to try it. I am going to do that series where I test all my pencils on all the different papers. Now we're under the sea, the planet of sea. So it's different planets. I get it now. Sometimes I'm slow. Sorry. <laughs> Takes me a minute. This looks like fun. I like this one. It's just the background. Somebody out there, not me, needs to do an underwater page like this. There's some in uh, Lost Ocean by Joanna Basford. There's some in lots of books. And do tutorial on how to do the water. I would, I would love to see that. Oh, there's a big fish. Oh, 
And there's Nemo's down here. And Gil over there. Oh, this one looks like fun too. So you got above water and underwater. Look at the fish. It's flying. It's a flying fish. And here's a page of all different kinds of fish. Under the sea creatures. Some seashells and dolphins. And I don't know what this is, a Loch Ness monster. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's a dinosaur. Fish. Oh, now we're at the planet of snow. There's Frosty. I haven't, I need to break the spine so it'll stay. Well, that's cute. These live under the tree. And these live in the tree. All the different ways that the animals live. Let's see if they're nuts for winter. Oh, it's Santa Bear. This is fun. It's a good Christmas one. Some more animals. And it's like the winter solstice. They're dancing around the tree or something like that. Too bad they did this. I don't like it when they do that. So they put the star in the uh, crease. So it's hard to color. So we got some snowflakes, a wallpaper page. Now we're in the planet of flowers. Oh, we got some vases with flowers and some bugs and a flower wallpaper page. It's a flower mandalas or circles, wreath. Oh, this probably the planet of sweets. This looks like fun. You could do it like um, Candyland or uh, Rick It Ralph, um, Vanilla P. Von Sweets, where she lives in the candy. What's it called? I forget what her place is called. How fun. She's a gingerbread house, then a cupcake house. Cakes. I'm not really a food person. I like a color. I don't really color food very much, but this looks fun. I'm, this one I think I could do. Cookies. The planet of magic. Oh. The big castle. Here's your castle. They have like patches on their clouds. Oh, they're coming out of the pictures. Fun. It's like Hogwarts. Some mandalas or snowflakes. Oh, a circus. So I'm noticing that the majority of these pages, I think almost all of all of them are double page spreads. I don't know if you've caught on to that. The girl's room. So she must live in this house. And then there is so she must turn into a bird. Um, I need to read the story. I haven't read the story. But then this is fun. So it gives her a crown. It's like a vellum. 
tracing paper or the bug or the bug <laughs> the bird because she must turn into the bird. Oh, here's her bedroom. This would be fun. It's cute. Oh, and then here's a little afterward and it's a little story by the illustrator. And then we have some alphabets. Very grayscaled. There's my letter G. And it's like penguins. Look at the giraffes. So they're letters out of animals. So fun. Oh look, it's the Eerie Books. So it must be the same uh, publishing company that does the Eerie Books. St. Martin Griffin. I have to look at my eerie books. I want to go see what the story says real quick. It says... And she turns into an exquisite bird and flew away into the night sky. And she departed on an amazing odyssey to many mysterious planets. Fun. So the girl turns into a bird. That's a fun book. I'm excited. I have a romantic country book here. Let's see. Yeah. Same. St. Martin Griff Martin's Griffin. So the same publisher for Eerie Books. So that's exciting. It kind of reminded me a little bit of the Eerie Books. Like a combo between Eerie and uh, Joanna Basford. A little bit with all the flowers anyway. But yeah, I'm excited. Again, Susan, thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much. Um, yeah, don't forget to leave a comment on what we think we should name um, the snail here. The snail needs a name. I'm thinking, I'm just trying to decide if it should be a boy snail or a girl snail. Like, I, yeah, I gotta figure that out. Mm. Lots of things to think about, but yeah. So, thank you again, Susan. I so appreciate this. Um, you made my day. And, yeah. And I'm excited to color and use these fun, fun, fun um, supplies. But, I just, yeah. I hope you guys like this video. Um, and if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell button so you're notified when I post new videos. And the thumbs up that you like it. I really, really, really would appreciate it. And I, look, I so enjoy talking to all of you and making these videos. And I can't wait to talk to you all soon. Bye.